देर इज वन हॉरिफिक न्यूज दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश देर इज वन उत्सव मंडल आई बिलीव आई एम साइटिंग नेम करेक्टली उत्सव मंडल तो इन इन खुलना डिस्ट्रिक्ट खुलना डिस्ट्रिक्ट दैट इज एट ज्वाइनिंग कैलकटा दैट इज परगना डिस्ट्रिक्ट परगना डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज कैलकटा एंड देन इफ यू गो एट ज्वाइनिंग द परगना डिस्ट्रिक्ट देन इट कम्स एज खुलना डिस्ट्रिक्ट तो खुलना डिस्ट्रिक्ट देर इज ए बॉय एंड हिज नेम इज उत्सव मंडल ही इज लिंच मीन्स ही गॉट किल्ड inside a police station so it is a news of 2 3 days back and there was a huge uproar in indian media indian media it started shouting that a hindu boy got killed by muslim mob in bangladesh what was his fault his fault was that he wrote some bad words or it is something can be can be brought under blasphemy bad but about muhammad in social media so he wrote something that is not considered as good in social media about muhammad and he got lynched because of his comment about the muhammad this is this comes under kind of blasphemy so because of his comment about muhammad police apprehended him so he was kind of inside a police station and military also came claiming that it is a sensitive issue now mob there is a mob and it is had badly angry on that boy because there is a blasphemy he said something wrong about their god kind of creativity first of all it is wrong that you are not supposed to write anything bad which hurts someone religious sentiment so this incident has also happened in rajasthan of india i believe that some telly some 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 person he is he was running a tailor shop and he wrote something in a blasphemy reason only about muhammad in social media and two people entered his shop tailor shop and they stabbed him so they stabbed him with knife and they killed him. so first of all this is wrong you are not supposed to write bad word word about any ones which hurt someone's religious sentiments this is any way it is bad but this is at least for the kind of uh, i don't know what he wrote about muhammad uh, utsav mandal that inside a police station that mob lynching him and no one is getting arrested so muhammad yunus who is the prime minister or president of bangladesh now he is citing that situation are being aggravated it is not that bad that people are saying police is found saying that he did not die he is kind of under treatment whatever it is but when there is no cap when no one is in captivity because of this this activity police can police could not catch anyone there is no apprehension no one apprehended in this case then this is a really certainly this is big activity this is not matching to the rajasthan activity where people are entering his tailor shop here police did good job and he arrested kind of arrested or took him in custody the utsav mandal and army also military people they also came but still mob could get hand on him, hand on him and they killed him this is the news now i don't understand this can be a painful to people in bangladesh is it really painful to indian there is no big bigger painful to them it is a big uproar here in india that news is everywhere that a hindu boy got killed by the mob mob would be angry they can be this is this is natural but they cannot enter police station and they can kill a boy this is something that is very bad if they are angry also then hindu is minority there in bangladesh 
दे कैन काइंड ऑफ गिव वार्निंग ऑल्सो एंड इफ ही इज अ बॉय इफ इज अ बॉय ट्वेंटी ईयर समथिंग लाइक दैट देन दे कैन टीच हिम ऑल्सो दैट दिस इज रॉन्ग डोंट डू इट अदरवाइज यू आर इन मेजोरिटी देन वट हाउ पीपुल विल गिव रेस्पेक्ट टू इट मीन्स इफ यू आर इन मेजोरिटी देन यू शुड सेट सम एग्जाम्पल दैट माइनॉरिटी शुड फॉलो यू सो दैट इज द रोल ऑफ मेजोरिटी ऑफ एनी कंट्री इन इंडिया पीपुल सीन are doing nonsense about the indian god but no one says much thing people are in majority so they also keep quiet so the this is the kind of responsibility of anyone who is in majority that give him a lesson that this is not good means if i say bad word to your god then how you would feel so this is enough for anyone but going inside a police station and killing that boy lynching that boy certainly this is worse to what what is difference between majority and minority inside a country then then there is no difference but anyway what is the meaning of indian people when they are in pain when a hindu hindu boy got killed in this fashion boss tell me one thing bangladesh is inside india bangladesh is completely inside india bangladesh population is 15 16 crore i believe 12 13 crore would be muslim population but india has 150 crore population how a, a bangladeshi muslim means i'm talking about practical sense not theoretical sense how a bangladeshi muslim can dare to kill a hindu boy when they are completely confined inside india this is a question mark but yes it's possible when india itself it is doing patrolling on the border border security force of india it is doing patrolling on the border so no one can enter who is killing these hindu in 1947 the hindu population in bangladesh was 28% now it is merely 8% 20% people they fled bangladesh till 1971 there was no border practically people could go and come like with pakistan 1947 pakistan was formed but till 1963 war people could go and come people were powerful till then but post that then wire fencing and those thing happened a people cannot go people are too much aligned with the government what government want to put you in a boundary and loot you this is what is the democratic system in india the democratic system in india put people in a boundary and start looting them this is democracy in india this is called democratic system in india they were waiting so that they can put fence all over and you cannot go and then they would kind of pounce on you they can loot you the government now same situation here people are not opposing that why there is bsf of india what they are doing if they are on border what they are doing that they, they are there to see the tamasha means they are there to see the drama if they cannot enter bangladesh the people can you know, enter bangladesh why why the bsf people are there to take a salary means why why indian army is there people in india they are buying gold in 75000 rupees for 10 gram is it the actual rate globally go to dubai and those places they also take taxes but it is around far less than this this is not international gold rate petrol is 100 rupees per liter wherever government is there they are looting people their full intention to loot people there is no government reaction uh, congress or anywhere on this incident everyone is quite i am not saying that go and beat uh, uh, bangladeshi or whatever tell me one thing means i am asking people do you ever think about it that bangladesh was part of india till 1947 it's indian land if you have a land and someone acquire part of this land will you put fence there if in the if means people would say that bangladeshi people they want on base of religion they wanted separate country so it became separate okay we respect bangladeshi people 
but it is Indian land. If someone is capturing part of your land, will you put boundary there? BSF is marching there or you will keep it open so that they will run away. So is it not, it doesn't look like that Indian government is responsible for the killing of uh, uh, Utsav Manda? Why you have put uh, uh, BSF over there when you cannot tackle it? Right, right. You, you are putting BSF out there and you are not able to tackle the situation. You keep mum and Sheikh Hasina is in problem, then you are saving Sheikh Hasina. If Sheikh Hasina comes in problem, then helicopter goes and she comes to uh, somewhere in Tripura and then from Tripura she comes to Delhi. Leaders are very important. But this uh, uh, unfortunate person, uh, kind of uh, Ustav Mandal, he is getting killed, okay, for doing some little nonsense. He did not beat anyone or whatever it is. It is a little nonsense. It can be kind of a childhoodness. This it can be told. Now, who is responsible for this division? Why you did this division? When you cannot, uh, cannot, uh, why Indian people? They, there is no reason to shout on this. If you cannot save Hindu out there, then what is the reason to shout? Who will save you? If you are shouting, if Indian people are shouting in the, on this incident, means they are expecting from government to act. Government will not act. Government will not act ever. Government is government has placed BSF around the boundary so that no Indian can enter there. The BSF is for that purpose only means no one can go and come back. Who is suffering? Hindu people are suffering. Then why you are crying? I am not saying that don't go and give the taxes, but see where your taxes are going. Now BSF people, thousands of BSF or lakhs of BF and BSF people are marching on the Bangladesh. It's the largest border in India. India, Bangladesh border is 3000 kilometer border. It is a hundred, thousands of BSF uh, 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 BSF uh, 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 people, they are marching there. Now, who is giving salary to them? Indian people are giving salary to them. You are giving salary to the people who are restricting you to enter Bangladesh. And then you are crying. You are paying for killing of Ustav Mandal. If BSF people are not there, then Bangladesh people would stop India's going there. Not true. Bangladesh is a very poor country. Poor of the poorest country is Bangladesh. Just think that how 3000 kilometers there, if their BSF, if their BSF personals are making a round trip along the Bangladesh-India border, how much they are paying for it and how much they can afford. Their BSF is marching to counterpart Indian BSF. That's it. If Indian BSF is out from there, then their BSF is also out from there because they don't carry any money. Probably, if that is the case, then Bangladesh will be most more prosperous and this incident would not happen at all. After all, Muslims are also human ones. If they get employment, if they get money, or such, if they get, Khulna district was tightly associated with Pargana district. As I say, Khulna district has the actual jute agriculture and Pargana district had industry, Calcutta. So from there jute used to come and, and, and here manufacture, means jute industry was there. It was tightly coupled, now no one has job. And Bangladeshi people, they do not have job and whatever money they have, that money is going in BSF and this kind of activity. What they will do else, you tell me, they are also human now. What they will, if prosperity comes in Bangladesh, certainly they will not do this. So. Indian people, there is no reason to shout on this. Why I am saying if India removes BSF from there, then Bangladesh would also remove BSF from there. Then the big example is Pakistan. So when Britishers were there in India, then they started, it's a kind of giving money to Muslims to go for Hajj in Mecca. It is called subsidy. What subsidy? They were giving money to Muslims in India from Calcutta and Madras and Bombay seaport, then through sea that was governed by British uh, government through some company and that, that ship was to go to Jeddah. Jeddah 
then you can go to Mecca. So for the Mecca pilgrimage, British used to give money. When India Pakistan came into picture, they also continued giving subsidy money to the Hajj pilgrimage because they had to follow what Britishers were doing. This is the rule. If Britishers has parliamentary system they set up in India, you have to follow it. So both were following it. Now in 2014 around, then Modi government, the new government, this is a good thing they did. So they stopped this because of they did not have money or whatever it is. They stopped this subsidy. 1000 crore, 1000 crore is very big money. Very, very, very big money. Around I believe 10, 1000 crore is 10 billion rupees. So that much was going per year in the Hajj pilgrimage, India stopped giving it completely, claiming we don't have money. If that was the case, then Pakistan also immediately stopped giving money to their Hajj pilgrimage. Pakistan is a Muslim country, Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Certainly, they would not have stopped giving the Hajj subsidy because being a Muslim country, they immediately stopped. When India stopped, giving subsidy to the Hajj pilgrimage, Pakistan also, Imran Khan government, Pakistan also, they stopped the giving money to the Hajj pilgrimage. So this proves that the Indian subcontinent, they follow India. If India removes BSF out of there, then poor Bangladesh, 3000 kilometers spending this much money in security of the border, where from they will afford. They will also remove if Bangladesh comes under India. I am not saying that uh, country wise that it will give, go and mix with India. Like India and Nepal, there is no military there. But it is a separate country, right? Nepal is a separate country, India is a separate country. There is no military, there is no visa and passport at all. Anyone can go Nepal, anyone can come. Like there is, there is no visa and passport with Bhutan. There is no military there. It's a separate country. Bhutan is a separate country. But there is no military out there. Like that, why India and Bangladesh cannot be when there is no military? India can rem If India removes the military there, BSF, that on that, they are spending. Indian military budget is, I believe, 6 lakhs crore or more than that. If that is the case, 3,000 kilometer, they are patrolling this BSF people and then army, the northeast, those places, they are a big center of army. Who is paying for that? Indian people are paying for that. Indian people are paying for killing of Utsav Mandal. Then they are shouting, they are crying that our Hindu boy got killed in Bangladesh. Bangladesh is not near Canada. Bangladesh is not near Canada or Alaska. That you are hearing news, it is inside you only. And then you are paying heavy taxes and that money is going to BSF and they are stopping Indian people only to enter into the Bangladesh. Because of Indian BSF, Bangladesh BSF is also there. So full, they are stopping people going to Bangladesh. If people go and come, there is to and fro, the way it happens through Nepal and Bhutan, will they dare to do this? That is in Khulna district, that is adjoining Parjana district near Calcutta. Is it possible? If it is possible, then what, if it is not possible when people would go and come and if it is possible, if there is BSF and army there, what they are doing? They are doing, they are wearing bangles or what? Means this much salary, this much expenditure is happening in army and BSF, what, they, what are they doing? So, Indian people must understand that what, what you have done post 1947. Now go and kind of pamper Indian is now election is coming in Jammu Kashmir and Haryana okay you see what happened to Leh and Ladakh earlier it was a center of Himalayan region and it, it was a full place trading trading place people were prosperous now it is a corner of India okay what will happen to Haryana go and vote Congress and keep mourning keep mourning keep crying when this kind of incidents happen inside your boundary, Bangladesh is inside the India itself. It's a matter of shame, right? Means you cannot control this small. And that, if it was in Barisal district, then I can understand. If it was in Dhaka district, then I can understand. Khulna district near to Calcutta. 
there you cannot control what your BSF and army is doing. Now go and give taxes. And I'm not saying don't give taxes, but you understand where your ta taxes is going and go and give vote to Indian National Congress. Disgraceful people. Means only thing that Indian can do is hit their head. That's it.